standard procedure for importing a vector file format such as a DXF or .plt file into our Cobalt Laser software. Simply go into the upper left hand corner, select the word file, go down to import vector file, click on that, it opens up the window that shows the file name, you can select your directory. If you are networked together through a central network system, you can select the directory through the network where to pull the information from or the artwork. Down here, it shows the file types that are supported by the laser software. It's very standard and common in all lasers, .ais, .plts, .dxfs, and .dsts. Here we have a .dxf file, which is an AutoCAD drawing interchange. Simply select that particular file, press open. It will open up the file on the screen. Sometimes the placement of it may be a little bit out of the center. You can pull it into center or wherever you want to work with it. Now at this point in time, a lot of DXF files may not have all the joined edges. Um, with our software, we can pretty much import any type of uh, vector file for format into it. However, a lot of times a Corel Draw program or Adobe Illustrator type program may not have joined all of the edges together on the files. Therefore, you can't use the crosshatch commands that are standard inside the software uh, for doing the blackened images and things. In order to do so, you would have to go over to Modify, Curve Edit, and then simply press Auto Connect. Now, the Auto Connect feature is very unique to our software. Uh, this is not offered in any other type of laser software out there in the world except for ours. The Auto Connect joins all of the features together in an auto connection process. You simply put in the auto connection error. This is defaulted at 0 .01 of an inch. You can also work in millimeter on the machines, however we're running an inch. So now we'll select OK and it will join all of the edges auto connecting them. If you have a very bad file that is outside the realms of our auto connect feature, the auto connect feature will take care of about 99% of it. However, if you do have a very bad file, you can go in over to our modify command and select plastic. And you can go to either a weld command or a trim or a intersect. And between those three commands, you should be able to get any type of geometries that you need to or that are required for any complex logo. And those features are also very unique to our software. This is how simple it is to import a DXF file or vector file format into our laser software.